Hey everyone, welcome to build day one. We start the day off with some beautiful weather and a short drive up to Northern Virginia to meet up with our friends Tillman and Michael for a fun weekend of welding. The final thing we talked about in last week's video was the jig plate and how it works. Today's the first thing we set up. We start by installing the rollers that hold everything in position before placing the tubing. What you see here is the main roll hoop and the two tubes that complete the section at the back of the cockpit. With that ready, we throw a couple of tack welds on it before flipping it over, bolting it back down, and placing a couple more on the back side. Once that section is complete, we can pull it off the table and rearrange the plate for the next section. Lucky for us, the second setup works for all four sections that make up the rear subframe. With it mostly being made out of square tubes, it's a little bit easier to figure everything out. Once we have that section ready, we throw some clamps on it before adding a couple of welds. As you can tell, there's a good bit of setup time involved with each section, but doing this right here saves us some time later on. And we're just gonna rinse and repeat this for the next section. The only thing different about this one is it has the bushings ready to be welded in for the upper control arm. And here you can see all the sections we were able to get done before taking a short lunch break. Once we got back, we were done with the jig plate and we were ready to start assembling the sections together. And here we also have a couple of the tubes that make up those Lincoln log-like assemblies I talked about last video. The light pressed together with the clamp and they're ready to go. Now it's time for the fun part where we actually get to start assembling. Once we reach a point where we're happy with how everything sits, we go ahead and grab the lower control arms just to make sure they fit right. Throw some hardware in and everything looks great. After that, we can move on to the upper control arms. A couple of small burrs we had to remove, but once that was taken care of, we were good to go. With most of the rear box formed, it's just about getting everything nice and square and level. Once we're happy with it, we can start clamping it up and letting Tillman do his thing. Next up is adding the main hoop and some of the braces back to the box. A couple of minor adjustments here and there, but all the tubes fit up pretty well. Only had to do a little bit of modification and everything worked out real well. We went ahead and threw some full beads on a couple of tubes that were going to be covered up by the main hoop braces.
And finally we just had to touch up and place a couple of the engine basket tubes on the bottom. But not bad for a day's worth of work, here's a couple of pictures from after the fact. You can consider the rear third of the Octane to be completely tacked. Honestly think it looks great, I'm really happy with the progress we were able to make in a day. Next week's video we're going to do the same thing but for the front third. So I'll see you in a couple of days and thanks for watching.